वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास वेलकम टू लेक्चर फाइव ऑफ मेटलॉजी एंड मटीरियल साइंसेस इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रिकवरी रिक्रिस्टलाइजेशन एंड ग्रेन ग्रोथ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस सी वॉट वी हैव डिस्कस इन आवर लेक्चर फोर सो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट कोल्ड वर्किंग सो इन कोल्ड वर्किंग वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिफाइंड वेन कोल्ड वर्किंग विल बी डन जनरली कोल्ड वर्किंग विल हैपन आफ्टर प्लास्टिक डिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ एनी मेटीरियल ओके सो प्लास्टिक डिफॉर्मेशन विल हैपन आफ्टर इलास्टिक डिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द मेटीरियल सो वॉट इज इलास्टिक डिफॉर्मेशन वी ऑलरेडी नो इफ यू रिमूव द स्ट्रेसेस सो द मेटीरियल रिगिन इट्स ओरिजिनल स्ट्रक्चर वेर एज प्लास्टिक डिफॉर्मेशन इज इट्स अ परमानेंट डिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द मेटीरियल सो जनरली इफ इन कोल्ड वर्किंग कंडीशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टेम्परेचर सो प्लास्टिक डिफॉर्मेशन इन टेम्परेचर रेंज ऑफ अबाउट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मेल्टिंग टेम्परेचर ऑफ एनी मेटीरियल so during this cold working condition generally what happens means the point defects there is nothing but a small vac vacancies will be created because of continuously applying of the load or continuous applying of the stresses for example if you take a solid like ice if you are continuously heating it because of heating what will happen the atoms inside the ice 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 is being disturbed because of that it will move far away from one another so then it will convert to water so similarly in in steel or in any a material because of continuous plastic deformation the material will try to rearrange its shape that is nothing but it will elongate such a way that all the atomic structure which are arranged in the crystal structure will move away from one another because of that small point defects will be created in a material so this is generally a cold working if you see because of cold working there will be creation of point point defects density will be improved and dislocation density will also be improved as i have told that point dislocation is happening because of the enlargement of the material so as it as the points are moving forward because of that there will be continuous points if you join together it will become a line so that is that i that is the reason the, there will be a creation of line dis, line defect also okay so the, the dislocation density will be keep on increasing if you keep on doing a cold working condition so generally where we use cold working is rolling forging extrusion uh, examples of rolling is if you are uh, rolling any sheet by applying some amount of load forging forging you can see in um, any of the material which is made into different shape like sheet metal sheet metal those are all forgings itself like plastic made plastic um, vessels okay these are all forging so next is extrusion if you are continuously plastic bottles okay uh, drawing of pipes so these are all extrusions so the cold working is typically done on ductile materials itself why ductile materials because for happening of cold working the material should undergo plastic deformation if you can see here we have clearly specified the material should undergo plastic deformation in ductile materials itself there will be plastic deformation in whereas in brittle materials there will not be any any kind of plastic deformation they will directly go under rupture or they will under directly undergo into the breaking condition example is glass so if you apply a load on a glass the glass will directly break into pieces it will not undergo any kind of plastic deformation for plastic deformation you can take a example of chair plastic chair if you are uh, if you are standing on a plastic chair so what happens to its legs its legs will be stretched so that is it is undergoing some kind of plastic deformation if you jump on the same chair the the chair will break because the load has now applied will be more okay so for improving the cold working or the properties of a material what we do is same cold working material can be annealed what is this annealing is nothing but so heating a material to a particular temperature so first we will heat the material then we will undergo the a cold working condition means we, at, at hot temperature itself will not work first we will heat we will keep it for some time then after getting cooled we will work so what happens because of this heating is already the material has undergone plastic deformation because of heating the atoms can be easily moved inside the material when you apply the load on it so it can be easily rearrange themselves with the 
with its affinity within the arrangement of the material. So, this kind of heating a material to a typical temperature of less than its melting temperature. Why I am saying less than melting temperature is if you if you reach near to the melting temperature, some layers of the material will get melted. Okay, it will try to move. After melting, what will happen? It will not stay at a place. So, after melting, it will try to move faster. So, because of that, it should be uh, heating should be done below the melting temperature and that too are half of the melting temperature with this what happens means the, there will be a disturbance created in the atoms with the disturbance we can able to rearrange the we rearrange the what the atoms inside the material so if you are doing it below the melting temperature of 0.5 then this process is called as recovery if you are if you are doing that beyond 0.5 then it is called as recrystallization why recovery means whatever the changes happen due to plastic deformation will be recovered because of you given the extra heat to the material by in, in terms of temperature whereas in recrystallization what is happening means if you are giving large amount of energy so because of that large amount of energy what the atoms will do is they will they will arrange themselves in a different structure previous structure whatever was there they will re, they will change that structure inside the atom and they will rearrange themselves and there will be a boundaries created among themselves for example, I can give an example of atomic physics which you have studied in your 11th, 12th. So, if an electron is existing in the first level, if you are giving energy to it, so the electron will jump to the higher level. Okay? So, a higher level, it will try to remain in the higher level for certain time until the energy is there. After that, it cannot stay into that level. Again, it will come back to its original level by releasing some amount of energy. This we have studied in our atomic physics. Now, what I am doing is I am giving energy again when it is at the higher state. Again, I, if I give the, some amount of energy like recrystallization. After again, again I am giving energy. What will happen? Already it has reached the highest level. If you again give the energy, it, it will directly move out of the atom and it will become an ion. Okay. Similar thing happens in a material at recrystallization temperature or a melting temperature. If the temperature is less than 0.5, then it will recover, means it will try to recover the changes which ever has happened. In recrystallization, what will happen means it will try to shuffle themselves and make a new structure inside the atom. During this process, the material tends to go from microstructural metastable state to a lower state. So, it will try to rearrange from a lower state itself and it will try to make the whole material stabilize. Okay? Further annealing of the recrystallized material can lead to grain growth means if after recrystallization again if you are going to give annealing, annealing is nothing but giving temperature for a certain period of time. See here, holding for a sufficient time is heat treatment process called as annealing. Now, if I again give some amount of temperature even after recrystallization, what happened to that element, what happened to that material is all the boundaries which he has created, it will try to rearrange themselves. For example, if a, if a student is there, if you, if you give good marks, what he will study, he will try to get more good marks. He, he is already getting 100 percent marks, then he will try to go for other competitive exams. Similar way, after recrystallization, the material will try to change its grain growth. So, it will try to change, create its boundaries by creating a new grain growth. So, that we will see in a diagram next. So, first is point defects are increasing and increasing in the dislocation, whereas because of cold working, there will be increase in the strength of the material, but whereas the material will become brittle. What is the reason for becoming of brittle is already it has undergone plastic deformation. After undergoing plastic deformation, what happens to the material is, so the other thing which it can go is, it can go for defer, deformation or which it can go for next uh, breakage. Okay? Because of that, the breakage will be very close to the plastic deformation. Because of that, it will become brittle. Okay. Now, after doing cold working, if I try to anneal, after doing cold working, if I try to anneal, the material will tend to lose the stored energy, means it will try to become the softened. Okay. So, now before doing annealing, what I am trying to do is the cold working and I am applying the annealing means nothing but I am giving heat treatment 
the heat the low heat treatment will cause the material to undergo recovery if you are going to anneal the material that is nothing but a heat treatment to the material beyond certain temperature that is melting point temperature what happens to the structure the whatever the crystal structure inside the element uh, atom uh, inside the material will try to recrystallize themselves means they will try to rearrange the structures of the atoms inside okay so in this in recovery the generally the driving force the driving force is nothing but what is causing the uh, whatever the atoms to move inside the recovery is point defects and the dislocations this this dislocation point defects are created because of cold working when you heat treatment treat them so all the atoms which are existing will try to create the, uh, come to this point defects and dislocations which are created if there are no dislocations why the material will undergo recovery no need because already they are in a proper structure so re recovery will not come into picture now recrystallization recrystallization driving force what is driving force is nothing but because if i am giving the annealing i am giving the temperature because of the temperature the force created is this free energy stored in the dislocations whatever the energy stored in the dislocation will give will be working as a free energy and that atom will do the recrystallization because of those gaps it will try to rearrange themselves next for grain both what is happening means the driving force the driving force is free energy stored in the grain boundaries so because of this recrystallization the atoms being arranged in a different structure because of different structure the grain boundaries may have been disturbed so that disturbed energy or the free energy which is existing at the boundaries will come into picture and they will create their own boundaries okay they will create their own boundaries it should be noted that the driving force cited above is a global thermodynamic driving force global thermodynamic driving force is nothing but for all this to happen we are giving a thermodynamic temperature that is nothing but temp in terms of temperature we are giving the energy that energy is causing them to create the driving force if the process will actually takes place will depend upon the local conditions both global and local criteria has to be satisfied if this process has to takes place means either it should have the point defects and dislocations if this is present if you give the temperature at this condition what will happen it will create the recovery if it is having some dislocations at during dislocations if you are giving some thermodynamic condition thermodynamic driving forces then it will create the recrystallization similarly after recrystallization also if you still give some th some amount of thermodynamical temperature or thermodynamic conditions that is nothing but temperature conditions what will happen they will create a grain growth okay so the recovery the recovery is a process by which deformed grains what is deformed grains because of plastic deformation the grains are deformed they have changed their sh shapes okay can reduce the stored energy by removing or rearrangement of the defects so because of this plastic deformation they have created some removal or rearrangement of the defects means point defects might have created or line defects might have created because of plastic deformation when you are giving the energy that is nothing but annealing that is heat treatment process so the grains will try to rearrange which which grains deformed grains especially deformed grains will try to rearing this process is called as recovery these defects primary dislocations are introduced by the plastic deformation because of plastic deformation only this dislocations has came into picture if this plastic deformation is not there then there will be no dislocation if there is no dislocation there will be no recovery they are uh, they are one next to other first plastic deformation if there is a plastic deformation there will be creation of dislocation if there is dislocation then there will be a recovery okay so during this plastic deformation of the material and act to increase the yield strength yield strength means withstanding temperature of the material we will see all those things if generally we have already studied dislocations in any material that is i have explained your uh, what dislocations that in line dislocations has two types one is positive another is negative positive means compressions will be on the downside whereas sorry compressions will be on the upside and the vacuum is created here similarly negative means here there will be creation of these things okay so these are opposite you can consider this as a positive this as negative this as positive this as negative okay they have shown negative as red marks 
okay so here what happens means the dislocation here will be created and there will be a large amount of material because of that here it will be a negative condition negative dislocation we call it or negative slip okay so if you see this while recovery what happens means already they have created because of plastic deformation already because of plastic deformation the material is like this when i apply the temperature what happens means this and this will try to move and they will combine and negative and positive will cancel each other and here also negative and positive will cancel each other similarly here negative positive will cancel negative positive will cancel and finally you are going to obtain this kind of structure okay so this is because of annealing so here we have annihilation annihilation is nothing but annealing heat treatment process will cause the dislocation with opposite sign will combine again if you are trying to give more amount of temperature then they will get polygonization that is nothing but they will arrange themselves and become a sequential structures like this they will try to obtain a stabilized nature stabilized nature of the atom that is we call as polygonization okay so next recovery is a process that kings in a low temperature in this stage the excess defects are annealed out means excess uh, defects which are existing these are the excess defects this is a defect excess defect so all these excess defects will be removed okay dislocations of opposite sign annihilate each other and dislocations align from a lower energy configuration namely like quilt and twist boundaries okay so basically we can say cold working will improve the strength whereas it will reduce the reduce the ductility of the material and because the material will undergo will become a brittle after application of the cold working okay so with this what is the summary which you have understood now is recovery takes place at low temperature itself that is less than 0.5 melting point of the material okay apparently there will be no change in the microstructure there will be no change from the microstructure means the the crystalline structure will remain same only thing is that they will rearrange themselves so as to remove the defects or the point defects voids whatever the interstitial gaps they have created they will try to remove that and they will try to become stabilized because of recovery excess point defects created due to cold working that is nothing but plastic deformation are absorbed okay it is at the microstructural level so the random dislocates of opposite signs will come together and if there are more number of uh, dislocations they will combine together and they will nullify them okay dislocations of same signs arrange into lower energy level so if there are dislocations having of different nature they will rearrange themselves such that it will not cause a large amount of effect to the material they will combine and they will try to come to the lower energy level that process is called as polygonization okay overall reduction in the dislocation density will be small next is recrystallization recrystallization what i have told you have to anneal the material heat treat the material beyond 0.5 temperature recrystallization is a process in which deformed grains are replaced by strain free grains means there will be deformed grains because of plastic deformation they will have they will be arranged in a different way now what are, with heat treatment what will happen means there will be creation of strain free grains okay it is generally observed that high cold working and smaller initial grain size lead to finer recrystallization higher cold working and smaller initial grain size if the atom itself is having small small grains inside it if you are trying to do uh, annealing annealing go beyond 0.5 temperature melting temperature then there will be finer recrystallization means they will rearrange in a finer way so that its strength can be much more increased okay the driving force for the recrystallization is shown in the strain energy of the material okay recrystallization is defined as a process in which grains of the crystal structure come into a new structure from the starting i am saying crystal structure crystal structure that is nothing but last lattices bases so the arrangement of lattices and a bases is okay so that complete structure will be changed for example i can say bcc will be changed to fcc because of recrystallization that we will see in phase changing diagrams okay bcc structure can be changed to fcc structure or a uh, simple cubic structure can be changed to bcc structure a precise definition of recrystallization is difficult to state as the process is strongly related to other processes because we cannot explain the recrystallization 
perfectly till what temperature it will happen because if you keep on unhealing there will be an appearance of grain growth in some cases it is difficult to precisely define the point at which one process will become and one process will end that is nothing but where the recrystallization will start exactly and at what point the recrystallization will end we cannot specifically tell the exact points okay so see this these are the process of recrystallization initially the crystal structure in atom was material was like this when you are annealing it so it will try to arrange themselves in a strain free nature means there will not be any deformation in it in strain is nothing but deformation so they will try to arrange themselves to overcome the all the deformations so after this if you again heat it what happens mean the whole atoms will be rearranged and a new crystal structure will be created that we call as recrystallization whatever the structure was this previously it will completely change to a new crystal so see this we can see from this uh, figures so initially this was the crystal structure or the this were the boundaries grain boundaries so when i am trying to anneal the material so the all the atoms is trying to become strain free means they are trying to arrange they are becoming free and they are trying uh, trying to rotate inside the material after that what happens means all of them will try to come together means same energy levels will all come together and they will rearrange themselves if you again keep on unhealing then it, they will become a group of elements like this and they will create their own new crystal structure so recrystallization of the metallic material is from a to b this is recrystallization again if you are annealing then it will go for crystal grain growth so the grain growth is being changed so that is the reason why we say there is no proper time where proper point where recrystallization ends and where it will end okay start and end position of recrystallization cannot be specifically defined because if you if you small increase in temperature will make cause a change in the grain growth okay that is the reason okay next recrystallization to take place a minimum of cold working is needed so for obviously for recovery recrystallization there should be minimum amount of cold working that is nothing but plastic deformation has to be done okay during recrystallization stress free grains nucleate and grow stress free grains means you can see here how the grains has been grown and how they are moving inside the material okay so in recrystallization system after more than about 90% deformation the resultant microstructure is textured that is most of the grains have a similar orientation so after 90% of deformation like this they will rearrange themselves all the same sign or same type of uh, atoms will come together and they will rearrange themselves okay so we will see what are the properties that are going to be changed because of this cold working and annealing okay so first initially we have undergone a plastic deformation while doing plastic deformation there will be a change in the tensile strength of the material whereas the electrical conductivity and the ductility of the material will be less so after giving some after plastic deformation if you give some temperature what happens means the tensile strength of the material will remain same to recrystallization structure why means till recrystallization structure the atoms are not going to change its crystal structure the structure will be remain same so if, if the structure is same means that the amount of strength required to break it will remain same so after recovery what will happen means during recrystallization the atoms are going to create a new crystal structure because of that new crystal structure they are going to arrange themselves in a same orientation because if you are all of same kind it is easy to break if you if you break one person all of the other persons will be automatically broken so if you, if all the students are standing in a same sequence if i push one student all the students will try to fall for example you might have seen any uh, cards being arranged in a se similar sequence if i push one card all the cards will be fallen so similarly during recrystallization all the atoms will be rearranged because of that its tensile property will be reduced whereas if you see the electrical property during the tensile uh, cold working condition because of creation of the voids because of creation of the plastic deformation plastic defects the conductivity of the electricity will be less okay so after unhealing what is happening is there will be more amount of free electrons or the free free flow of uh, atoms inside the material or the crystal structure because of that its electrical conductivity will be improved okay so the temperature at which the given material completely recrystallization in an hour is defined as 
recrystallization temperature so for a, if you want to tell a definition of a recrystallization the temperature if i am giving certain amount of temperature for example water you can say 100 degrees is a boiling point or you say 100 degrees will the whole water will boil no certain amount of boil will be boiling so the temperature at which the given material completely recrystals means whole atom whole material will be completely rearranged so in an hour okay is defined as recrystallization temperature recrystallization temperature is low if the degree of deformation is high so if you have created large amount of deformation then temperature required will be less because it has undergone large amount of deformation means more amount of defects will be there more amount of free space will be there so the atoms will be easily rearranged if the temp if the deformation is less means you have given small amount of deformation to the material voids created will be less recrystallization has to be the temperature has to be given more okay so deformation increases recrystallization temperature decreases so initial grain structure is low then recrystallization temperature is less initial grain size is nothing but if the atom uh, if the crystal structure of the atom itself is initial before doing plastic deformation itself if the grain size if the sizes of the uh, atoms arranged in it are is very small then the recrystallization temperature will be very less because the grain structure is already finished more smooth so because of that the recrystallization temperature will be less next high cold working plus low initial grain structure will give finer recrystallization finer means it will be much more rearranged themselves okay increase in the cold working temperature lower the strain energy stored because of that recrystallization will be improved rate of recrystallization rate means at, by what uh, recrystallization define as what is rate in thing but per time you can say it simple words you can say it as per time so the rate of recrystallization is a function of exponents of the temperature that is nothing but rate of deformation of recrystallization we can define as e power t we can give e power t is e power temperature exponential function of a temperature so recrystallization is equal to strong function of purity of the material okay so next is grain growth what is grain growth grain growth is nothing but the increase in the size of the grains grain size is nothing but the boundaries if you see so the boundaries will be more if you are having a small house you are trying to occupy the whole road and you are creating a big shop then it is grain growth how your shop is going to increase similarly each and every material will have a small grain inside so if the grains are bigger means they will try to improve the size so this is called as grain growth this occurs when recovery and recrystallization are completed and further reduction in the internal energy okay internal energy can only be achieved reducing the total area of the grain boundaries the term is commonly used in metallurgy but it is also used in reference to ceramics and minerals why we say metallurgy is nothing but metallurgy is a study of metals metallurgy is study of metals but uh, whereas ceramics and minerals are not the not metals so even we can use this grain growth structure even in ceramics and minerals these are the latest technologies mine mechanical engineering so these are the grains if it is uh, these are fine grains these are improve in the grain growth next improve in the growth this is the highest growth structure how they are going to arrange improve the grain growth so this is also so initially if it is like this if with respect to time if you are keep on hitting it will rearrange themselves again if you hit then they will rearrange themselves and they will become stabilized okay grain growth occurs by the removal of the grain boundaries and not by collisions like water or droplets the boundary movement is is dislocation and the direction of the motion may change suddenly if the boundary is moving if there is some dislocation then because of the for example you see this any grain if you take this grain is growing like this okay if suddenly some gap is coming here it cannot go with, along with the gap so it will change its sh shape okay one grain may grow in another direction which list being consumed from the other side so all the grains coming from one side other side will become joined together so when grain boundaries in a single phase material meet at a other other than 120 degrees the grain induced by the more than acute angle will be consumed so the angles are approaching 120 degrees so how the uh, grain growth will improve the properties is the grain growth will also improve the properties of the electrical conductivity and ductility whereas its tensile nature will be reduced because the grain structure has improved means the small grains are there 
our grains has been improved a larger size because of that the strength of the material will be reduced so next class we will discuss about the mechanical properties of a material thank you ma'am